Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, DD Rubicon 2024. A brief recap on the pre quarterfinal teams. The first quarterfinal was played between BRACT, Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune, and they took on the MIT World Peace University, which emerged the winners, and they are here in action in front of you. The second quarterfinal was being played between COEP Technological University, Pune, and they faced the likes of Birla Vishwakarma Vidyale, and that was a team which uh, was able to march out into the semi-finals. And uh, the third quarterfinal was played between Marathwada Mitra Mandal College of Engineering, and they secured 270 points against Pimpri Chinchowat College of Engineering, who had 330. And now, uh, in the semi-final, we just got over moments back, Pimpri Chinchowat College of Engineering Pune got the better of uh, Birla Vishwa Karma Mahavidyale with a score of 350 against 170 points. The first team to find itself into this finals. And now, Who's going to face them is going to be decided in this second semi-final. The Institute of Technology, Nirma University, will be taking on the likes of MIT World Peace University Pune. The two winners of the semi-finals are vying for a place in the mega-finals. Huge amount of uh, support for both teams as their crews really back them up. They have a player, the crown down clock, right in front of you. Four, three, two, one. And there goes the whistle. Look at the bout, fearlessly moving into zone three. Round one, We're seeing such a fantastic performance by both the robots. Both of them moving in tandem. That's such a coordinated effort. But look at this. Even Team Blue is not going to let that go down. Nirma University gets the first of their 30 points. And in fact, Robo 1, on the other hand, has got you know 16 of uh, them absolutely in their place. The last leg of uh, the 12 saplings have been planted successfully. And now it's the time to harvest as Robo 1, which is being manned by their operator, is moving in. They have to now launch the balls into zone 3 from zone 1. There goes ball number 1. Each ball's launch is 10 points apiece. Each sampling planted is 10 points apiece. Each balls in the silos is 30 points. And already two balls are there in the silos. Malfunction at 1 minute 49 seconds. The first malfunction for Nirma. And they are going to be costing up. And those seconds will really count. Uh, Sujay, take a look at on the left of the TV screens there. And that tells you the exact story of how... Beautifully, they have panned out this uh, semi-final number two. Nirma University beautifully placed all the rice seedlings into the plantation zone there. And from there on, successful transfer from zone two to zone three of these balls is something they're going to, from the harvest area, this area is going to decide the winner here because looks like the team from Pune, MIT, is, seems to be struggling there, especially from the very beginning zone number one. They could not place their rice seedlings all of them only one of them has been dislodged but that could cost them not only the point but also the time consumption it will be interesting to see if they would like to come back to the starting zone and finish their job there in the day one in the zone one there but after that the time left will be only 50 seconds and in that 50 seconds nirma university can do wonders they have achieved above 500 points in their league matches there they've achieved the move wong and they seem to be all set achieving move wong in the semi-final number two as well well, yes, uh, the last 35 seconds here on the clock and uh, the Nirma University was is staggering at the moment. The robot is uh, having a malfunction. Also, their R1 is not able to pick the ball and launch it into zone 3 from zone 2. So that will be a couple of points lost, but there seems to be into be the driver's seat at the moment. As the last 10 seconds are on the clock, 
That's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the hooter blows off, signaling the end of the second semi final. And those are anxious faces here at the Telegraph Stadium in New Delhi. This has been the venue for the Robocon for the last three to four years, where IIT has always been as part of the organizer. And also, when you were speaking to the volunteers, what they said was that working with the IITs is not a problem because they know what they need to do. They have their plans, and all one needs to do is slip into groove and what a fantastic experience for every participating student here who comes here from different corners of the country and gets a taste of what it means. Robocon is on. And this is the second semi-final where the Institute of Technology, Nirma University, in the red corner, and that was their R2. What a fantastic performance. And this is what we are going to wait out for because whoever is going to be winning here locks their horns for a fantastic final against Pimpri Chinchuad College of Engineering, Pune. So, Ahmedabad versus Pune is going to be what is uh, going to be the uh, writing on the tarot cards at the moment. Because you see that bot here struggling a little bit as it came to a little bit of a standstill time and time again. And to their rescue, the crew comes in, picks them up and tries to get them on. And on the other hand, we had in the blue corner, MIT World University Pune, trying to launch the ball into action. They get 10 points for each of those balls, which are distributed from zone two to zone three. But these are those valuable points. You can see four or five of them, which have been collected by an Institute of Technology, Nirma University, and each of those points give you valuable 30 points